Oh my God. back to Pat Max Adventures. I am Patrick. Today I am down at Taft Station off the MRT here in Metro Manila. I'm out here exploring Baclaran shopping area. It's a very large and busy shopping area here in Metro Manila where you can find everything and anything for a very cheap price. I wanted to show you guys a more, I would say a more typical area of Manila. So let's get down on the street and do a bit of a walking tour and check this place out on a busy Saturday morning. Oh my God, <laughs> a very busy Saturday morning. In today's video, I thought I would do more of a walking tour with you guys going through the market area down at Baclaran. On my way to Baclaran today, I took the MRT, which is one of the train systems here in Metro Manila. It's line three. As you can see, there are a lot of vendors that are closed here and they have been closed ever since the pandemic has started. Usually these would be busy with food and people buying things. Getting on the MRT currently in Manila, you will need to fill out a form with your contact information for contact tracing. Once you fill out that form, you can go ahead and buy your ticket and then go down to the train. It cost me about 16 pesos today from the station from where I am going to Taft Station, which is the station where the market area of Bacharan is. They are doing a lot of social distancing within the metro system. You can see people are separated. They have a lot of workers down there making sure that people are one meter apart. They also are cleaning the metro cars every stop or almost every stop it seems like. The only downside to taking the MRT and the train system right now in Metro Manila is that it takes a long time. They seem to stop and will remain at one station for almost five minutes and then they will continue. This is obviously due to the pandemic, so if you're going to take it right now, just expect possible delays. So just like any other Metro train station anywhere else in the world, there's always shopping right out of the exit. So this is a little area that I just found right outside the exit. You can see they have areas to repair your phone, a lot of phone accessories here, and it wasn't too crowded. I would normally expect this kind of an area to be very crowded if there wasn't a pandemic going on, but for the current situation, I found it pretty empty, but not too busy as well. Like I didn't feel like there were too many people. But just going down the halls here and turning the corner, you can just see there's like one lady right here. Lots of little accessories that you can buy there. There are a lot of interesting walkways here where you can see people selling other things as well. Looks like more tempered glass for your phones or accessories for your phones. These walkways went a lot further than I thought. I didn't realize how far these walkways went. This is Saturday morning. Again, not very busy, but there is a good amount of people. So you, it, it makes me feel good that, you know, things are running and moving as they should, but just not as busy as normal. This is when I started to get excited. I know I'm so weird, but I love to go into local areas when I'm traveling, especially in the market areas. Now I'm actually on the street making my way into Baclaran. As you can see, there are a lot of items on the street here to buy, dresses, bras, shorts, and you can see the prices posted. There are drinks along the way, so if you're thirsty from all that walking around, uh, there's fruits, lots of different kinds of fruits, lots of uh, phone accessories, a lot of little phone shops. So if you want to get your tempered glass on your phone or some cheap shorts or bathing suits, gym shorts, whatever, you will find it here. You will find anything and everything here. Right up here on my left, you can see all the toys here. Now we're getting to the good stuff <laughs> as we move further in here, getting more crowded. But again, there look, there are sandals, lots of face shields that you can buy on the streets. You're seeing that everywhere right now in Manila. So if you lose your 
face shield or it breaks or whatever, you can always find a new one on the street. A lot of sandals, flip-flops, anything and everything, belts, more t-shirts, and for a reasonable price too. You can find a variety of different styles and colors out here. Everyone, for the most part, is wearing their mask and face shields, which is great to see as well. One thing I just kept in my mind is that this area here in Baharan or other areas in Metro Manila are where a lot of people do work and live most of the day. So to see that things are running now during the pandemics, oh, I kind of like those uh, shorts right there. It just makes me feel good that things are running. You can see guys carrying some bags and moving things around. So things are moving. Definitely not what I would typically expect in an area like this if there was no pandemic going around, but considering everything going on, it does look good and a bit healthy to me as far as the amount of people. You'll also see some food being cooked out here on the street, some fresh corn. I've now really started to enter the heart of this sh market area of Baklaran, and you can see a lot more people on the road, a lot more cars, tricycles, bicycles. It's always good to be aware of your surroundings, not just for you know, someone to rob you or pit pocket you, which I felt totally safe down here. I really did. Out of all the markets and countries I've been to, the one thing is just to make sure that you don't get hit by a car or a tricycle or run into someone, especially with the pandemic going on to keep your social distancing. Just endless items and things to buy along the streets. You can see some tricycles here just walking along here and I, there were a few times that someone would just fly right in front of me on their bicycle and <laughs> was a bit fun to dodge and cars everywhere. Now it's gonna get really fun dodging all the bicycles and people and taxis and motorbikes and tricycles. Very active this morning. There's a lot of movement going on. You'll see right over here there's some more fruits being sold. Taxis, motorbikes everywhere more fruit over here there are a ton of shoes being sold you can find so many different styles of shoes at a very cheap price so if you're looking for shoes and cheap shoes and a variety of shoes you will find them here this place is actually under an underpass i think to the highway or some major road above i'm just heading more towards the building there's a lot of shopping inside but i wanted to give you guys a perspective and just see what it looks like on the outside before heading inside for more shopping one thing i would love to hear from those of you that are local here in manila do you think that clothes and items are going to be cheaper and less expensive being sold out here on the street or do you think that they will be more expensive on the inside of the market? This is something I was wondering as I wandered around and I didn't see much of a difference, but I would love to hear from those of you that have been here and, and do shop here what you think. And again, there's just a variety of shorts and pants and jackets and there's also suitcases and bags, a variety of bags. And now that I know that this is here, if I ever broke my bag or something was damaged and I needed a quick day bag or something, I would definitely come down here and grab one because I know I'll get a good price and decent quality. Everyone is ready to sell and very active. Now to head indoors to the maze of shopping indoors throughout these buildings. This particular area has a lot of accessories for phones, androids, iPhones. I also came across a lot of different perfumes, makeup, jewelry. There's also a few stands for phone repair as well, or if you need a screen on your phone, underwear, tank tops, there's also menswear here, and it just goes on and on and on. You could seriously get lost in this area. Everything on the left are bras. Look at this, guys. Look at these bags and stacks of bras. So if you're in need of bras or underwear, you have definitely come to the right place because there are endless bras and underwears here. I came to an area that was almost like a fork in the road or like three forks. I had all these different directions to go. Just endless stacks of shirts and dresses and clothes for everybody. Hi. 
people in this area were really friendly. I never felt unsafe or anything unsafe about my belongings. So that's just one thing I wanted to add. Of course, always just being careful. But I did find a lot of things that I potentially would definitely come back and buy. And I would love to hear from you guys if you've seen anything in the video so far that you would like to buy or anything that you do usually come down here to buy. It would be interesting to hear about it. I think one thing that I really took out of walking around today, especially in the middle of the pandemic going on, is that I'm so happy to see that people aren't allowing the pandemic to keep them from going out and shopping and contributing and just making a living as well, but also taking care and wearing masks and wearing face shields in these close areas was also great to see. Yes, lots of baby wear as well, I mean, it just goes on, stacks of other colorful shirts here, I mean, it's all here guys. <laughs> and you can never escape a Jolly Bee. <laughs> Everywhere in the Philippines you will find a Jolly Bee. This looks like it was a bit of a food court area up here on it was the third floor within the market area. Everyone was pretty distant from eating, which was good to see. Still relatively busy and Jolly Bee is of course open as usual. <laughs> I find that so funny. I guess it's just the equivalent to McDonald's or, or our fast food chains back in the US. You just see them everywhere and you will never fail with Jollibee. Whenever you have a craving, a Jollibee is just a few steps away. I decided to end the day down here at Pasig River. I believe it's called Pasig River. I got off at the Guadalupe MRT station nice view of the billboards here and the river here i've always gone by here when i've been on the mrt or when i'm in a grab or a taxi going over the bridge over there i like the blue and red and yellow they painted here you can see there are plants along the river here those look like mangroves going down the river towards the bay that's what i'm guessing over here looks like a ferry or maybe some kind of area where you could get on the ferry you'll see some people fishing along the river here this is the guadalupe Pasig river ferry station looks like it's open i don't know could i take a ferry down Pasig river right now <laughs> that'd be really interesting really random too you can see on the other side of the river here everything is again painted pretty brightly someone with their dog right over there looks like a nice little local barangay on the other side, you can see all these big condominiums that just pop up everywhere over here. Over there is the bridge and then the sun is setting over there where Manila Bay is located. I'm going to head home now, guys. I hope this video was interesting to you guys and I just wanted to get out of the really nice areas like Ortigas and BGC and Makati and show you guys more of a typical common area of Metro Manila with a lot of the locals, which I love when I travel. I love getting into these local markets no matter what country I'm in I could have spent hours still wandering around all those shops and probably would have ended up buying some things as well let me know if you guys have ever been down in that area of Metro Manila or what is your favorite area or favorite local area here in Metro Manila I would love to hear it in the comments down below thanks again for watching guys and remember to live every moment to the max I'll see you guys next time